Hello and welcome. This is part two in the five-part series, Jumpstart Your Trading. Uh, hopefully, I can give you some good quality clues to reduce your learning curve and get you started faster on the road to profitability in Forex. I was thinking of this while we're in between takes here. Uh, step two is writing a good plan. You know, uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about this, but you know, I was thinking about this in between takes is that it, it's almost impossible, really, in, in 15 minutes. I can't put a lifetime of experience into uh, these short videos um, as much as I'd like to. Uh, I really want to encourage you to consider taking more time when you have it uh, and visit my members area. Take a trial subscription briefly uh, just for a few bucks to see if there's some good help there. A lot of free stuff on the website too. Consider looking at the free stuff again. Uh, if nothing else, uh, my goal is to help you get on the right path and stay there. Uh, sometimes you need more help than at other times, depending on you as a trader. For me, I wish to God I had somebody to help me when I was first getting started, but that didn't happen. So I learned it the hard way. That's really the benefit I want to give you. I, I think I can help you stay a little more focused on what you really need to learn. And one thing that really is a critical part of that, and I, you know, in 15 minutes we can't cover except more than just a little bit of it, but you need to have a trading plan. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fire up the PowerPoint right now, and we're going to take a few minutes on that because I really think this is critical for you. So let me get the PowerPoint up. You should see the uh, PowerPoint now real quick, uh, writing a plan. And, you know, I can't emphasize this enough. I mean, I, when I train people on, um, uh, in my psychology of trading course, you know, one of the things that we talk about is writing everything down and how critical that is to journal. And uh, this is just going to be an intro, really, because uh, we can't, in 10 or 15 minutes, we can't really cover what we could cover. But I want to really encourage you to sit down with a blank piece of paper, a notebook maybe, and a pen, and give some thought to writing out a plan as your second step to getting ready to go ahead and get into these markets. Uh, as always, I never know who's listening to these broadcasts or who's uh, maybe seeing this for the very first time want to remind everybody that trading is a risk investment. There's uh, no guarantee of profitability. You could lose some or all the money you invest. Make sure that you're emotionally and financially suitable for trading when you decide to get into this. Uh, I wish it was that everybody made money all the time, but as we talked about in zero-sum transactions, that doesn't happen. Uh, you're going to make money at the expense of somebody else losing, so you don't want to be that loser. If, you're, if you are that loser, that's the risk you got to be willing to accept. Uh, so I encourage you to consider carefully if you're ready for that. Hopefully you are, and that's why you're listening to this. So we talk about writing a plan. What is a, what is my plan, right? What, what is it that we're really going to do here? A trading plan is not your trading system. You know, a trading system is, you know, we talked about in step one, building your foundation. You're going to build one on your own. You're going to do this on your own, figure this out hardcore on your own, or you're going to buy somebody else's expertise and monitor that systemized approach. Either way is fine. The plan now, this addresses the concerns that are going on with that. In other words, it's addressing the parts of your trading that is within your control. So you can't control the markets. You can't control price action. Uh, you can't control what's going to happen from day to day, moment to moment. Only you can control your participation. The only thing you've got in your control is when you buy or sell. So you have to have a plan for that. So what you want to do now is write it down. What you want to do is write down your trading plan and make a rule set that will work for you. Now, I, I talk about rules consistently all throughout um, the educational process for traders. I don't care if you've been trading for you know, your whole life, you still have rules. Trading rules change all the time. Like for example, if we're to say, here's one of your rules, you know, I, let's say you bought a hard, uh, bought a piece of software and you got it running on your computer in real time, and it gives you the trades at the end of every day. Let's say it does one where it's a systemized approach that works on volatility, and it calculates all of the trades at the end of the day, and it gives you the list of orders for the markets you're going to trade, and you need to place those in the morning. And it works through the day and then liquidates all your positions for you or tells you to liquidate all your positions at the end of the day. Great, great little, little minor little system, wonderful. Well, 
you need to update that every day because if you don't update it every day, there's going to be trades in there that you don't take that would work for you. Trades in there that you um, need to liquidate that you put on yesterday. You have to take time every day. So maybe one of the rules you might want to put in your trading plan that you write down is I will spend 30 minutes every day uh, after 7 o'clock p.m. to review my positions and system. Very simple. Now you got to follow through on that. Other things to include in your trading plan might be things like this. Um, and I talk about this in my book, Trading Rules That Work. Uh, I talk about when you're building a plan, it's the things within your control that you know you need help with, right? Uh, maybe it would be, I want to find, uh, like well, my trading plan is by uh, August of this year, I am going to find a local group of traders and attend a traders group every week to stay focused on what other people in the market are doing or to learn more from others. Uh, it might be a part of my trading plan is to read one good book on the markets every month and take the good news out of that book and apply it to my trading approach. See, your trading plan has to do with things that involve consistent, disciplined, proactive participation.